it's Gracie from Gracie Ali Design for ThermoWeb and today I have a fun technique that I know you want to try out for your handmade cards using new products from the Gina K Designs and Rebecca Meyer Designs lines for ThermoWeb. And so first I cut a piece of premium white cardstock and I placed a mini jungle vine stencil from the crafters workshop and I used a sponge dauber to apply two different tones of green inks from the new Gina K's line called Jelly Bean Green and Grass Green. I'm trying to create a transition, applying one tone of ink on the top and then another one on the center of the card. This ink background will create the perfect base for that foil dipped effect that we want to create for our background. These inks blend very well together because they are made to coordinate perfectly, so they are very easy to use. I'm now going to apply Rebecca Marius Design's new mixed media medium using a palette knife. And this medium is not only great as an adhesive for your paper crafting projects and mixed media projects, it is also great for transferring foil because it dries tacky and it will allow you to transfer foil with only your fingers without the use of a laminator. Remove the stencil and make sure you wash it and clean it right away. And you can let dry this medium on its own, but I decided to go ahead and use a heat gun to dry it faster, making sure not to overheat the background because that would create bubbles on the medium. And so now I'm applying a new foil from the Gina Case line called Grass Green, and yes, it coordinates perfectly with those inks we used before. And that is a great thing about this new line that you have everything you need in the same place to create your paper crafting projects. Once you start peeling the foil, you realize right away if you need to continue burnishing the foil to transfer completely the colored foil, or if you need to go back. You can go back with the same foil before you peel it off completely, or you can remove it and then use a new piece of foil to keep pressing until your background is done. I put that aside and then I die cut some elements using the new Gina K die sets, rectangle small set double stitch design and the rectangle large set single stitch design. And I'm also using some foil made sentiments from the set True Friend. And these are very easy to use. You just run them through the laminator and I use a coordinating foil and I used a matting rectangle too. So all there is to do now is attach all the elements with 3D dots and easy tear tape and add them to a coordinating card base using the new Jelly Bean Green cardstock. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed today's video. For more ideas and inspiration, make sure you visit thermoweb.com and you can also visit my blog, gracielidesign.blogspot.com. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time.